This is MathGuide.com and my name is Mark Caradimos. Today we're going to talk about a problem called the Monty Hall problem. In order to better facilitate the discussion of this Monty Hall problem, uh, we're going to break up the video into several parts. Alright, let's talk about our first part. Our first part is who is Monty Hall? Um, it turns out Monty Hall is a or was a game show host and the name of the program was called Let's Make a Deal. The program started off in the 60s, it ran to the 70s and then it landed up in syndication later on 80s during the 80s and the 90s. All right, it was actually a pretty popular program. People used to come dressed up to the program in a variety of different costumes. Uh, so there was a lot of uh, participation from the audience. And uh, the game show was, uh, host was very charismatic, this Monty Hall. Uh, it turns out uh, it was a pretty uh, interesting program because he had several deals. And that's what we're going to talk about in part two. All right, this is part two. Let's talk about exactly what the Monty Hall problem is. All right, well, Monty Hall would offer three doors to a lucky contestant on his program. So three doors would be shown, and it turns out behind the doors stood one prize. Now, usually this prize was a really great prize, uh, like, for instance, there could be trips, there could be prizes like uh, money, but usually there was a car. So some type of car, doesn't matter what it is, it was something that the contestant really, really wanted. Probably a shiny sports car. Uh, Alright, and behind the other two doors, there were not so neat prizes, and the other doors had, let's just call them goats, or something no one wanted, and it usually was a goat. Okay, so it turns out sad little goats would be the prize you would get if you chose the wrong door. All right, so, you know, if that was the, the, the way the game went, it would be pretty simple to explain, right? There's one car, there's two bad gifts, and you have to pick the right door. Well, it turns out the game show was not that simple. It turns out that once you were presented with the three doors and you made your choice, Monty would say, okay, you've made your choice. Now that you've made your choice, we're going to show you what's behind one of the two doors you did not choose. And he would choose one of the doors, and he would obviously choose one of the doors uh, where behind it was no good gift. It was a goat behind the door, and he would show the goat. And he'd say, okay, now you have the door that you chose. We have an open door that we know contains a goat. You obviously don't want that door. And we have this unknown door, the door you didn't choose. So Monty would then turn to the contestant and say, do you want the door you originally chose? Or do you want to go with the new door, the unknown door? And of course the contestant was given some time to ponder. And of course they'd look at the audience and they would, the audience would scream about what to do. Now mathematically, your job is to determine pretending you're a dutiful mathematician and you are trying to figure out which is the better deal. Do you stick with the original door or do you go with the change of doors, with the unknown door? Do you choose the new door or stick with the old door? Okay, so that was the dilemma. That is the Monty Hall problem in a nutshell. All right, so that is part two. This is part three. So what we're going to do is figure out what the best strategy is. You know, there are two strategies. You either swap when you're given the opportunity to, or you don't swap. You stick with your initial choice. All right, so what we're going to do is start with strategy A. So strategy A is going to be us just sticking with our initial choice. All right, let's start with how the doors look. So Monty prepares the doors for you. Uh, behind them are placed two zonks, goats, 
and we've got a car behind one of the doors. So, of course, all the doors are closed. You have no idea what's behind any one of them, and you make a choice. Now, you could tell that no matter which way we scramble up this problem, whichever way we scramble up the, the items behind the doors, uh, it turns out there's one car, and that's the one we want. So there's only one positive outcome here, and there's three different doors to choose from. So we've got a one in three chance of getting this car. We want that car so bad. But it turns out we got a one in three chance. All right, so uh, the strategy A is extremely easy to calculate. It's one-third, so just remember that ratio. So now we're going to examine the other strategy. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the board here. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to put down three scenarios. So I have a set of doors. Of course, they're just duplicates of what you just saw, a little smaller, but i got three different scenarios. Okay, let me explain. Uh, in this first scenario, what we're going to do is decide that, uh, you know what, we're going to choose door one. Why? I don't know. Again, we don't have any idea what's behind these doors. So, you know, it's possible that when we make our initial choice, we could possibly have chosen the car to start. For the scenario two, we could have chose, chose, we could have chosen this uh, door, which was with the zonk, the goat. Or for the third scenario, we could choose this door that has another zonk, right? So there's three ways to start this problem. No matter how you scramble these guys back here, once you put down a car in one of the slots, behind one of the doors, that is, you know, you could either pick it to start, get one goat, or get the second goat when you make your choice, right? Those are the only three things that could possibly occur. All right, now let's try what happens when we adopt our mandatory swap strategy. So what happens is once you make your choice, all the doors remain shut, except Monty then says, I tell you what, let's open up one of the doors that you didn't choose. And he'll always choose a goat door. Okay, like for instance, he'll say, I tell you what, behind, go, uh, behind door two was a goat. It's a good thing you didn't choose door two. And you'd say, okay, interesting, Monty. And he says, I tell you what, do you want to stick with your first door? Or do you want to go with the door you didn't choose? And at this point, there's a dilemma. And with our new strategy, we'd say, yep, Bonnie, we're making the switch. So that is actually the final door we're going to choose. So we, that's the one we stick with. Even though we stuck with one that was our initial choice, we go with the third door. Okay, and of course, he opens up the third door, and to your disappointment, Eh, you got a zoink. You got yourself a goat. So, unfortunately, it didn't really work out well for us. Uh, it looks like we lost. You go home a loser, but at least you participated, and that was fun. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Let's try it with the other scenario. Okay, you chose a door. Happened to have a goat behind it. You don't know that yet. And then Monty says, all right, let's open up one of the doors you didn't choose. And, of course, he's going to open up that goat door. He always does that. And he opens up the goat door, and he says, good thing you didn't choose door three. And he goes, I tell you what, you want to switch your choice? And you'd say, yep, because you're using a new strategy. It's the always swap strategy. And he'd say, yep, give me door one. Don't want door two anymore. And... You stick with it. You say, yeah, Monty, that's my choice. I choose that door. And he opens up door one and to your, you know, satisfaction and happiness. You get the door that uh, gives you the winning uh, item, which is the car. So you win. Yay! You go home with a nice sport car. Hopefully you don't have to pay taxes. All right, and all right, let's get to the third scenario. So remember that third scenario you chose door three. You don't know what's behind it. Monty opens up, of course, the other door. He shows you the zonk. And uh, he says, I tell you what, do you want to go with this first choice, door three, your unknown? Or do you want to swap doors? Of course, yep, we're going to swap. You say, yep, Monty, I'm going to choose that door. That is my 
choice. I choose that door. And he goes, okay, he opens up the door, and you, again, you see the car. You win under this scenario. So when I took a look at the three possibilities that could occur, it looks like you're going to win, if you adopt the strategy, that is, you're going to win two out of every three times you play this game. Okay, and that's exactly how it works. You land up winning two times the amount you would win if you adopted the other strategy, right? Because the other strategy was one-third, this one's two-thirds. So you're twice as likely to get the car. So you'd be a fool not to swap. you got to swap doors under the scenario presented here called the money Hall Problem. Okay, so that's it for us for this video. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other videos, check out our interactive quizzes and other lessons. Take care.